And a very good day to all my viewers out there. It is right now Saturday, May 23rd, 2020. It's about 1.48 p.m. And we are here in NDG, uh, Notre Dame de Grasse. And this is, street here is Cote Saint Antoine. And we are walking westward right now. There's a fire station right there. I think that's uh, number 34 it says on the side. And we are now coming up to Botrell Street. And this is a side street right beside the carry. Just a small side street. So we'll get to see the carry Boulevard in a minute. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day today here on this Saturday afternoon in May. I look at this view of the river from here. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see, there's a river right there. You can see it pretty clear from here. Beautiful. So we'll cross over here, which is, of course, the overpass that goes above the Dakari Expressway. And in the distance, you can see St. Jacques Street, which is right there where that uh, spire is. And this is facing north. I think that's the NDG Tunnel, it's called. But for now, we're going to walk on this street here, Cote Saint Antoine, and see some old buildings, maybe a couple of old vehicles, perhaps. You never know. Look at this beautiful house here. This is Addington Street, so the corner of Coke St. Antoine and Addington. And we're very close right now to the Monklin Village. I don't think I'm going to head towards that way because I did a walking video there already in the past. But uh, maybe we'll stick around this area. Don't know how long I'll walk for. Maybe, maybe I will end up in the Monklin Village. Who knows? There's the 162. Life's 2800 series bus. And this is Girard Street. And this park coming up here is where I filmed that microburst a couple of years back. Beautiful houses here, I'll tell you that right now. Old style. Yeah, so during the microburst, I was walking around this neighborhood getting video of the trees that had fallen down. And there was a couple of instances where there was actually a tree that fell on a, a building and also some vehicles. And you can see these trees are quite old, so that's why they're probably susceptible to wind damage but that was a storm for sure that was quite a storm I'll uh, cross over here it is a beautiful church here coming up I don't see a street name here it looks like it fell off or something Marvelous, marvelous. Quick view of the sun. Now, I don't know if this is a church anymore. I don't think it is. And the reason I say that is, look at the side. Oh, it is a church. It's a uh, River's Edge. 
because uh, I saw that sign and it looked like a, a commercial sign or something. But actually says community church on there. Huh. Beautiful. So this is Marcel Street coming up. Marcel. There's an old school there. Maybe we'll uh, we'll keep walking down Marcel Street, or uh, we'll keep walking down Coat and Saint Antoine Street for a couple of blocks, and then turn on one of these side streets here. Occasionally cross over from one side of the street to the other. A lot of beautiful trees around here. You can see the flowers have blossomed on this one. I'd love to live in this apartment right in the shadow of that tree. Must be nice and cool in this hot summer days. Well protected from the sun. So this is Oxford Street and I may have mentioned in a couple of other videos that a lot of these street names are very English. Oxford, uh, Melrose, you name it. This one, this tree just came down it looks like. There's a branch that just fell off that tree as well. But uh, yeah, I mean these trees are very old just like the houses. And we're coming up to Harvard Street now. And I think the main characteristic of this walk is the, the houses. like they're planting some I don't know what they're planting here trees I don't know if those are trees or some kind of garden or something so I'll tell you what we'll walk up this street here we'll go down here for a bit because uh, I want to show you some side streets as well we'll go down uh, this street here Harvard and we'll head north for a while like I said we may end up in the Monkland village which is fine And the temperature today, I'd say it's about 25 degrees Celsius, maybe 22, 23, 24 in that range. And the trees have pretty much... Trees, I think, have all their leaves now, pretty much. A few of them are uh, coming out late, but it's mostly greenery. The grass is green, as you can see. And we got dandelions. And for you allergy sufferers like yours truly, well, you know, it's coming allergy season. But look at this canopy. I mean, it's beautiful to see these trees right above the street. It's like walking through a, an urban forest, kind of. Because these trees are so old, they're so, so huge, and their branches come all the way up right above the street. And, uh, yeah, nice neighborhood. Near, we're coming up to Notre Dame de Grass Street which is named after the neighborhood. Maybe we'll turn here and head back going east. Like I said, we're walking in the north direction right now. Notre Dame de Grasse Street. I like this uh, bird feeder on the tree or the pole. Now 
all these streets going east to west, most of them eventually lead to Sherbrooke Street. But we'll walk down this street for a while and head back east. And uh, I want to wrap her up when we get to Villa Maria Metro Station. And there's even a bike path on the street here as well. 138, I was just on that bus before. Took it from Otwater. So we're back here on Oxford. Maybe we'll walk up Oxford for a bit. Beautiful gardens everywhere. Somebody watering their lawn. And I think the lighting right now is perfect. It really brings out the green in those trees on the video. There's an old leaf from autumn. And we're actually on a little hill right now, a little incline. like a forklift somebody's doing work on their their building now, a lot of these neighborhoods have these big speed bumps which is a good idea so we'll walk a couple more blocks or one or two more blocks and then start heading east again towards the carry birds are out today as well well oh, this old car here Toyota Is it a Tercel? Corolla. Here's a stump of an old tree. Perfect day for a walk today, perfect day. Another old car there. All right, so uh, what we're coming up to now, I believe, is indeed Monkland Boulevard. So you'll get to see a bit of the Monkland Village. Even though I did a video on it before, it never hurts to refilm parts of other walks.
So yeah, we're heading north right now and we're going to be turning on the next street heading east back to the carry and then wrap her up at Villa Maria Metro Station probably. Yeah, so this is like the main street in this area. And it even has, like I said, its own name, it's, which is the Monkland Village. It's making me thirsty, that water. With this hot sun beating down on me. And mind you, next week, I believe, we're going to be in, I think, plus 30 to 35 degrees Celsius temperatures. So we might have our first heat wave of the year next week. That is not going to be fun. All right, so let's go down Monkland. We're gonna head east here. And we'll walk a couple of blocks. And Villa Maria Metro's about five minutes away, maybe I'd say. Got some live music going on here. Used to be a Ben and Jerry's in there, that ice cream shop. I don't know it closed down or was replaced by another another shop. A lot of taverns here. There's a this is called the EOR Evil Worship Pub right here. Nice facade. see a bit of the vibe of you know normal times so I'm kind of coming back it's gonna take a while but and this street is one of my favorite street names in the city Old Orchard second and this is a sanitary sanitary corridor it's called or a health corridor so you don't have to walk on a sidewalk you could just walk basically it's an extension of the sidewalk and they're going to be building more of them and also more bike paths in the coming weeks which is good news And this street here is, again, is your word. So we're basically, we did a little circle, kind of, or semi-circle. Which, uh, was a decent walk. I'll show you this old street sign here. There it is, there's your word and Monkland. I'll just wait to cross here. All right, and there's the 63 route that serves Girward. And we're back here with some old houses. So this part of Monkland is more residential. And then uh, the next block is when it gets to be more commercial. And we are coming up now to Earnscliff. Again, a lot of English street names here. All 
Alright, so we are coming up to the Dakari Expressway once again. And I don't think I'm going to be going into the mesh. I might just get a Bixie bike and uh, bike back to my neck of the woods. We're done. Southwest. Beautiful day for biking. Here's Coolbrook Street. And I'll try to do some more walking videos today, later on. Maybe around sunset. I don't want to venture too far from home with this pandemic, you know, but... Uh, There's lots of areas close to my proximity that I can film. And here's Dakari Boulevard. And Villa Maria Metro Station is just on the other side. And you're going to see it here in a moment. Make it across. Yeah, so here it is again, the Dakari Expressway. Facing north. And by the way, there's the other side of the NDG tunnel. Facing south and Villa Maria metro station is coming up and when we get to Villa Maria metro station you'll uh, we'll get to see some construction going on you can see St. Joseph's oratory as well from here the dome that was a good little walk Okay, so we're here at Villa Maria Metro Station on Dakari Boulevard, northbound at Dakari. And uh, yeah, like I said, we got construction going on here. And uh, I'm going to wrap her up here. So as always, thank you all for watching. More videos to come. Stay safe and see you all soon.